Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I thought I would do a Topshop haul. I originally planned on doing this next week, but Topshop are doing a 20% discount this weekend. And annoyingly, well, they actually launched a pre-launch for it if you were like a member or signed up to the mailing list for two days before. I did a huge order the day before this went live. It's just really annoying. But yeah, anyway. I thought I'd share with you what I have bought at full price <laughs> and I thought I'd just publish it this weekend so you can make the most of the discount. If you are already subscribed to my channel, please make sure you do. Just hit the button below and I post fashion videos usually twice a week, sometimes only once if something goes wrong. And also please follow me on Instagram as well for more fashion inspo as well. The link is in the description box. So let's get into the haul. Um, I'm going to start with one of my favourite things. I'm loving the whole belted blazer trend at the minute with big chunky boots. I think it looks really cool. So this actual blazer itself comes already belted and I sized up to get a 10 because I wanted it. It is actually styled on the website as a proper blazer that's just belted whereas I wanted it to wear it as a dress. So I've also teamed it with these tights, which I think are really cool, but I keep going through expensive Calzedonia tights, like there's no tomorrow. So I thought I'd just buy a cheaper pair and hopefully they will hold up maybe a little bit better. I've also bought quite a few new pairs of jeans because I wanted to try out some of Topshop's new styles. I know I've been investing quite a bit in denim at the minute, so I want to get them dead straight. Like, so actually, I just want to say my favorite ever pair of jeans are from Topshop. They are these ones and I wear them a lot and the link to them is below as well. And I, I wear them all the time. Just for reference, I'm five foot three. I usually, I buy waist 26, but I kind of don't always know whether to buy leg 30 or leg 32. So I usually try both. But right now I'm kind of preferring leg 32 because I like it to be a little bit longer on me. So anyway, these jeans, speaking of being leg 32, these ones are not. These are the considered, these are the edited jeans, the considered ones, so they're more of a sustainable denim. And I have found personally that the editor jeans come up a little bit tighter. I think because the denim's so rigid, there's just no giving it. So they always come up a little bit tighter than perhaps your other jeans might do. I also got the ripped up editor jeans as well. So these are the slightly longer length leg, they're waist 26, leg 32. And I do prefer the way that these sit on my ankle. I don't know why, I just, I think it just looks a bit cooler right now. I've got a lot of cropped jeans and I'm a bit bored of my ankles, I don't know, like, mm -hmm. And then I've got the dad jeans. Now I'm liking the whole dad style amongst fashion right now but I wanted to try Topshop ones. And I actually really, really like these. I just don't know a million percent if the slits in them are me or if it's just not, not warm enough. Because that's one thing I will say about this haul. It isn't really warm enough to wear a lot of this stuff right now without layering up a lot. But usually it just kind of snaps into spring. So that's what I'm hoping for. It's probably gonna snow next week, isn't it? That's the dad jeans, which I think are my favorite pair. So, I don't know, I'm really trying to work out which one I like the most. And let me talk about this cardigan whilst I'm here. So this cardigan, I actually got this in store. Oh my god, I am i don't have the heating on and I'm like sweating. Like, I'm actually really warm in it, so it's very, very warm. I got it in a size large because I let myself an oversized jumper and cardigan. And also, I don't really think I saw any other size but a large, but uh, that's fine for me. Let's go into suits. Okay, so are you team lime or are you team pink? I love a good suit, and I know you guys know that already, but the lime one is a little bit out there, but it is my favorite. I just think it's so cool. And the blush pink one is beautiful, but I don't, I, the only thing turning me off it is the legs are more of a peg leg, whereas the legs on the lime, limey color one is more of a straighter leg, and I prefer the straighter leg fit on me. So yeah, but the blush one is really really gorgeous speaking of blush i've got this trench coat which i admit is actually from last year and it sold out and it was so popular but they brought it back for this year so if you missed that last year i would definitely recommend getting it because blush pinks and things like that are really really in it's so nice for springtime as well so i would definitely definitely get your hands on one of them whilst it is 20 percent Oh, speaking of trench coats, I got this one as well. I'm kind of in the hunt for the perfect oversized trench. And I really like this style. It is very lightweight and thin, but this is gonna be the perfect springtime jacket. I got mine in a size 10 
and you can still definitely layer it up with a nice hoodie right now which I like about it I also really love the colour because it's not quite like olive it's not quite stone it's just sort of in between so I do actually really really like that about it so I am jumping the gun here but I have got warm holidays book, so I feel like it's okay. So I've got these denim shorts, which are amazing. They are just a bleached ripped denim. I've actually already worn them on holiday. I'll let you in on a little secret there. But I love them a lot. They're super comfy. I've got them in a size 8. I know Topshop shorts can sometimes be a little bit of... Like the mom shorts can be really wide up. I always find I have to size up to accommodate my legs and my bum and my hips in the mom shorts whereas with these ones I didn't have to do that and also that leads me on to my other pair of shorts that I picked up these are actually an A-line fit A-line is the most flattering shape on anybody's body well on everybody's body it's like the most universally flattering shape on women I loved it because once again I didn't have to size up to a 10 to accommodate everything below and then have loads of space gaping at the waist so i really 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 love that i find, feel like topshop finally listened to what we really needed when it comes to shorts so i've got this oversized shirt i really love this just dress and it comes down just enough at the side maybe not enough to wear in daytime but definitely enough if you're wearing it on sort of like a night out um i think i would probably wear this with some cycling shorts underneath just to kind of feel a little bit less naked looks very very cool i reckon with a pair of tights and military boots and a snuggly jumper over the top got a couple of cute little springtime tops which are actually fine for wearing now so long as you're layering them or just like if you're wearing them under a jumper or with a blazer things like that so i've got this gingham mint top i love the silhouette of this i think it's very 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 high end and also at the back it has this really really nice bow detail it just ties the back of the neck which i think is actually really 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 pretty so i love this and then i've got this little white milkmaid top i think it's called i think this is what like i have seen them called online and i've got some tops kind of similar but i just like the fabric this is made out of it's really really comfy i'm definitely gonna wear this a lot in the summer and then i've got this little gingham mini skirt as well it's a bodycon style which isn't usual to go for but i think actually with a pair of like little socks and trainers when it's a bit warmer and a nice like cozy hoodie i think it's gonna be a really cute just like sort of off duty kind of thing also you can dress it up you can wear it with like a nice tee or a body and a blazer and that's going to look really 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 hot and finally i thought i would just go into some basics that i love so this white tee and then this gray tee oh my god i love top shops basics and I, they're the ones i go back to again and again and again that i'm always wearing so i always invest in them only time I ever have to get new white tops is when I sweat so much fake tan onto them I have to sort of replace them. So these little like tank racer vests that I'm wearing right now, they are great and they come in multi-packs and like loads of different colours. So I live in tops like this, in black and not grey because I can't really wear it, I sweat too much. <laughs> but in black and white, basically I live in them in black and white and they're my favourite, favourite things to wear. They just go with so many things. I one of my most just go-to looks is a pair of jeans one of these tops and a nice blazer or i'll swap the jeans out for a skirt and heels and that's my outfit for a night out so they just go so nice with everything and also they're quite sexy they're very low-key but sexy i don't care if people can see my nipples through them i'm like eee, whatever but this will get anyway guys happy shopping i hope you enjoyed this haul please do make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and i'll be back on monday with another video um as well so yay it was a bonus it wasn't even a bonus video this week because i didn't post last monday so this is like a makeup video which i feel is a good one because it is bearing a 20 percent off so um yeah follow me on instagram as well and i'll see you guys very soon bye